Top 7 Best Premium Soundbar 2023 Through extensive research and testing, I have put together the list of options that will meet the need of different types of buyers. For more information, I have put links of products in the description. Make sure to check it out. Like the video, comment, don't forget to subscribe, and let's get started. Number 7. Sonos Beam N2 For those with limited space or a smaller TV, the Sonos Beam Gen 2 is easily one of the best soundbar available in its size. The Beam measures 26 inches in width and just shy of 3 inches in height. For reference, our best overall soundbar, the Sennheiser Ambio Soundbar Max is almost twice that size. This makes the Beam ideal for small TV with any up to 49 inches in size a suitable fit. Similar to the Gen 1 Beam, the Gen 2 is equipped with a tweeter, four mid-woofers, and three passive radiators. It has none of the upward-firing speakers for the overhead channels for Dolby Atmos found on the Sonos Arc. Instead, the Beam uses digital processing to create an immersive experience. Unlike the original, the Beam Gen 2 features HDMI eARC, which offers higher bandwidth and support for lossless audio formats such as Atmos. Number 6. Sonos Arc Both the Sennheiser and Sony soundbars on this list cost north of $1,000, flash piece Sonos 1000 for a Dolby Atmos soundbar. If that's not a price you're willing to jump over, then we'd suggest the Sonos Arc. While it's certainly not cheap, its range of connectivity, streaming support, and true upfiring speakers make it one of the outstanding options below P Sonos 1000. The Arc represented the first time Sonos waded into the Dolby Atmos waters, and we found the bar's soundstage was full of plenty of height and width in testing, putting in a crisp performance with good control of the top end, alongside a detailed presentation of the mid range and low end. Our reviewer found the transition between mid-range and low-end was not the most fluid, hampering the overall cohesion of the ARC's presentation. It plays music well, although again the blend of bass and mid-range did cause it to lack conviction at times. The lack of bass is an issue that hampers several Atmos single bars such as the Bowers and Wilkins Panorama 3. But at least with the ARC a subwoofer can be added. Number 5. Sony HD-A70 if you're in the market for a soundbar that's great with both movies and music, we suggest you give the Sony HDA70 a closer look. During testing, we found its audio delivery to be crisp and concise, with clear voices and especially powerful bass for a single bar unit. Its 7.12 channel Dolby Atmos and DTS X performance impressed too, with a great sense of height that makes for a more immersive performance than what you get from a standard soundbar. Its claims of virtual surround sound weren't too convincing, but this is likely down to needing a room with walls nearby to bounce sounds off to the listening position, which we didn't have in our setup. The HDA70 is also an excellent performer for music showcasing great tonality, depicting the mid-range naturally, along with sharp highs and punchy bass. We would say it performs better with music in its cinema mode than music, eliciting a smoother performance with vocals. Number 4. Warfidale Vista 200S if the expense of the Sennheiser Ambio causes your eyes to water, the presence of an affordable soundbar with the boost of a dedicated subwoofer might be more attractive. In that case, the Warfidel Vista 200S is a highly recommended option. We found the bar's design to be attractive in appearance and the construction durable. The black finish and glossy top surface doesn't scream a cheap soundbar despite the Vista 200S's affordable price. With a width of 900 mits tailored to partner televisions up to 65 inches in size, and that it boasts a slim for factor also means you won't be living in fear of the soundbar blocking the picture. In terms of features, we observed there wasn't much to grapple with aside from its active wireless subwoofer that has a side firing 165M driver with 60W of power. If you want wireless connectivity or immersive audio, you'd be better off seeking the smaller but more expensive Sonos Beam Gen 2. We did note the three preset EQ settings for media playback are provided in movies, Music and news to optimize the soundbar sound for those types of content. Number 3. Samsung HWQ700B Samsung's soundbar lineup is one of the most popular, acting as a perfect complement to their TV, and the HWQ700B strikes an impressive balance between performance and value at its $699 slash PS6 $199 asking price. Much like the step-up HWQ800B, it's both Dolby Atmos and DTS, X compatible and features an HDMI input that supports 4K HDR pass-through if you've run out of inputs on your TV. Samsung exclusive features include Q-Symphony, 
which allows the soundbar to work in tandem with the TV speakers for a bigger sound, and one where the position of effect sticks to the screen. Our reviewer very much enjoyed its implementation on this bar. It features several other ways to fire audio edit, including AirPlay 2 for iOS devices, Bluetooth support, and Spotify Connect integration through Samsung SmartThings app that corrals other smart devices in the home to speak to each other. Other smarts are covered in voice support for Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa. Number 2. Bang & Olufsen Bay Sound Theater When it comes to extravagant products, there are few better than Bang & Olufsen and with their supporting Bay Sound Theater. They've attempted to create an Atmos bar with no compromises, and in our view, they've succeeded. There are still constraints and limitations, given that the Bay Sound Theater is a one-box system that still needs roof speakers to create the enveloping effect of Dolby Atmos immersive sound meaning the sound stage is front-heavy. It does not the same reach and wraparound effect that the Sennheiser Ambio Soundbar Max can produce with its digital processing, but the bass performance is thunderous for any one-box sound system. Our reviewer commenting that the theater was the most dynamic-sounding soundbar they had ever heard. The energy and drive it gives soundtracks is excellent, and it seamlessly blends mid-range and sub-bass frequencies with confidence. Dialogue clarity is excellent, and the soundbar is particularly good in delivering music. While it's an excellent bar for movies and music, with games it's weak at localizing effects within the soundstage, making it tougher to figure out what's around you. Number 1. Sennheiser Ambio Soundbar Max We rate the Sennheiser Ambio Soundbar Max as the best overall soundbar that you can buy today, but it is a lot of soundbar for a lot of money. $2,199 slash PS2199 to be exact. The Ambio is a large soundbar. Not one that will easily sit beneath a telly unless the TV is wall-mounted, stretching over a meter long and weighing in at 18.5ic. The similarly priced TV Ali Dione tips the scales at 12ic, and we considered that to be fairly heavy. The Ambio is heavier than some OLED TV on their own, which means it needs a fair amount of space to be accommodated, but for its size and half the build quality is excellent with a good selection of inputs that includes three HDMI ports, digital optical out, and aux in. Wirelessly, there is support for Google Chromecast and Bluetooth 4.2. So guys, that's all for Top 7 Best Premium Soundbar 2023. The links of all products are given in the description, which are updated for the best prices. Subscribe our channel for more videos. We will meet in next video till then take care, bye.